This is pretty wild. An apartment manager pepper sprays the tenant after asking about what happens to some tenant union flyers that has been put up. Tenant Christine Corbin said all she wanted to know was who took down signs advertising the creation of a tenants association in her building. She said seconds after she asked the question, a building employee pepper sprayed her. Document. Uh, and just so you know, this is Dexter Clements, and he is the most unpleasant office. Oh! 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 I just got pepper sprayed! Emergency. That is a definite lawsuit right there for battery um, assault, possibly. And the uh, apartment owner could potentially be liable as well because this is an employee of theirs doing this um like it, he is really brazen about his hatred towards his tenants crews took christine corbin out of 1841 columbia on a stretcher shortly after this incident occurred both she and mpd say the man who allegedly pepper sprayed her left the property and hasn't been seen since I mean <laughs> wow hasn't been seen since so he knows he's in a lot of trouble and doesn't want to get caught by the cops. That's hilarious. And again, uh, pepper spray can be pretty dangerous. Uh, pepper spray can kill people. There are some people that are more intolerant to pepper spray and can die from it. I mean, I was in front of him, but I wasn't anywhere near the desk. I wasn't doing anything at all. What led up to all this? No, she was just asking questions and he hated that his authority was being undermined and questioned. Well, the water's been shut off in this Adams Morgan building at least 10 times in the last year, including today. There are lots of issues living here. The best one was Christmas morning. We woke up with no water and no news that it was going to be shut off. Resident Wow, that's messed up. That shouldn't be legal for uh, property owners to have, you know, utilities and stuff shut off without uh, prior uh, warnings to the tenants. Or even be allowed to when they have the capabilities of keeping the utilities on. This is also why I advocate for uh, the removal of uh, absent, absentee uh, property ownership and allowing people to, you know, gain ownership of the residence that they're living in. It wouldn't be hard for uh, people to be able to buy properties from the government and only have to pay, you know, like property taxes in order to keep their residence. Kylie Smith and Sean Chittle said they're simply tired of not receiving essential services, hence their interest in a tenants association. These are the folks I'm worried about, the older and infirm folks that we have in the building, about water, service, or even air conditioning, which I mean, need to have service for these, for these poor folks. UIP Property Management runs this building. Its chief operating officer said the business is sorry to learn of the episode at one of its properties today. And it's... They knew about the issues and they're only saying sorry because they're being forced to make a fake apology in order to act like uh, they did nothing wrong. Uh, property owners tend to be pretty bad people and when I mean property owners I don't mean like people that own their own property, I mean people that own property and don't live on it. Cooperating with authorities investigating. He added, short water runoffs will continue to be necessary in the building as the company works to modernize its plumbing system. Still, tenants aren't happy. It's been a rather unfortunate series of events today, but we're looking for whatever services or help we can get from elected officials or the, the, the Department of Buildings or whomever. <laughs> This has been ongoing, and they have failed to do anything. The person pepper sprayed should file a lawsuit against the apartment owners. 
Now, the suspect's caught MPD says he could face a simple assault charge. Meanwhile, UIP said it thought it'd be able to get the water back on today by 12. Well, it did come back on around 2, only to go back off an hour later.